I know this isn't a motor or moto, but it does work as a great tool. My other infrared from when I did my heater core pipes, remember that. That one works pretty good, but this one is actually better. And this is the Fleur HD Pro. I'm actually doing this from the hotel room. Oh, look at that sexy sumbitch right there, huh? Uh huh. This unit has to be charged though. It has this little adjustable thing here that you can move the connector in and out because some have cases. My other unit is a Seek. And that one's pretty good. But the resolution is low. So that's me. Cool, huh? Hey! Let's put the camera on backwards. <laughs> Let me flip that around. There. That's a little better. So now, there's a couple settings in here. You can see where the heat's coming off my laptop. It's nice because it'll actually read out the keys and everything. And then if you take a picture, and you go into here, where the photos are, you can actually slide the infrared image to see what you're looking at. That's kind of a neat feature. In the settings, visible MSX and thermal. MSX puts that little line overlay around everything. You have different palettes to choose from. In the settings you have an infrared scale. Shows the whole range of what you're taking a picture of. The lock span locks the temperature range. Parallax aligns the image with the infrared image. Selfie mode reverses the image. This is your spot meter and region of interest. There's also a timer mode. 3 seconds and 10 seconds. You can turn on the light of your phone. This is for calibrating the unit, the battery level of the FLIR. My coffee. They give you a little share button down there. You have an actual edit button in the photos that you can change stuff after you take a picture. Save. Here I'll go into the setting mode. You can see you have emissivity, which is matte default. You have the image rotation, what temperature unit you want it. Save location, which is a pretty good tool. There's your automatic calibration, which it does. That's why you get that little bit of a lag. Fuller has a few specific apps that are made for this unit too, apparently. I haven't actually tried any of these yet. So this is an actual video from the Fleur Pro, or I guess it's Fleur One Pro. So let's see, you can definitely see where the cold areas are. I'm surprised that's warm. I just picked that up at Walmart. That's actually what it is. I told my wife she was hot and she didn't believe me. Proof. There's a messy table in my media room. My wife's cell phone charging. A wooden door leading to my porch. It's actually pitch black out. 
I'm doing a little test. That's my foundation. Some windows. Oh, my chimney. My furnace must have been on. My cars, which have been off for a while. Let's see. Oh, look at that. There's my son's Jeep. He just got home. Oh, that's pretty neat. He just got home, so you can see the heat still in there. And the heat on the drivetrain. My son's Jeep has been parked. I look back at the house. Hey, look at all the heat. Look at the heat coming out of my attic. Holy cow. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to get up in my attic and put this thing to good use. So this would be pretty good to see if there's any animals out here. I don't see any animals. That's an insulated door. You still lose heat out of it. Block foundations. Huh. I guess there is no real good thermal on those. My fuse panel. You can see where the main breaker is. is heated up. That first top left breaker which goes to the first floor sub panel is warm and the bottom left breaker is warm that's the one that runs my hot tub uses some electric there now here's a video for my seek thermal it does a good job with the heat as you can see it's not quite as good resolution this has two heat spots activated you could turn up to three on the floor but you can definitely see the quality isn't quite as good. Same here with the photos taken on the Seek Thermal. They're okay, but nowhere near as good as the Fleur. I got my Fleur 1 Pro LT off of Amazon for $268. I put the link in the description or you can go to MotorCheese.com. I think it's a great tool for any mechanic. And it all stores in a nice little case that's included with the unit. So all in all, I think it's a pretty awesome product. The only downside I could see to it is that it has a rechargeable battery. And if that dies, you're done. And you have to recharge it, which takes about an hour. And that's the only thing I could see that Seek Thermal will have over the floor. All the links are in the description. And if you like what you see, like and subscribe.